Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. New York City, New York. Kippy and Uncle Hank are coming home to roost, baby. October 27th, Helium Comedy Club, Philly, Pennsylvania. Come and see us. And then for the New York Comedy Festival, we're going to be at Gotham Comedy Club on November 9th. These shows are going to sell out. Get your tickies. <laughs> Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody <laughs> out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast, this is Are You Garbage? Sure is. It's a little show. We sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find out if they grow up to be classy. Yeah. Or if they're just a big old piece of trash. I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day down here at Antoti's basement. Yeah. She's out at Home Depot mm -hmm. looking for some new patio furniture Okay. for the living room. Ah, oh, <laughs> that's great. My co-host is coming at you from right next to me, unamused, <laughs> as usual. He is the CEO of Are You Garbage? He's an international businessman. He's the guy turning Wall Street upside down, <laughs> and the big firms are nervous. <laughs> Give it up for Kevin James Ryan, everybody. Uh, only dealing in euros from here on out. What's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. And as you know, those numbers are... True the roof. True the fucking roof. <laughs> uh, and then I would be a fucking jerk off, an mm -hmm. asshole, a piece of shit, an idiot. Don't you say it. If I didn't mention the greatest Woo! website of all time, patreon.com slash are you garbage. Shout out to the Conti family, the Yam family, the founders, all the subsidiaries. They're doing the Lord's work over there, Patreon. Check it out. Oh, we love you. And how about a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire, the Magic Band. He makes us all look good. Give it up for T-Bone McMuffin. It's Toby McMullen. What's up, dudes? <laughs> I'm stoked. This is going to be fun. It's going to be a fun one. I know why you're excited. Guess came in hot today. <laughs> oh, yes, he did. Came in looking real good, too. Yeah, tight Looks little like body. He took the super soldier serum. <laughs> this kid's coming in toy. <laughs> Gang, we could not be more excited to have our incredibly, and I mean incredibly special guest, back with us today. This man is garbage royalty. He is a family member. He's on the wall, baby. I'm yeah, telling you right now. He's got keys to the house. I'm giving you that. <laughs> All right. He's one of the stars over there in the Barstool universe. Mm -hmm. He has been educated. Educated in some of the finest schools and universities. <laughs> He's from a fine American family, yet somehow, yeah. <laughs> some way, he is the best example of nature versus nurture. Sure. <laughs> yeah. He's a big old dirtbag, this one. I don't care where you put him, folks. This weed's going to grow in the sidewalk. Yeah. <laughs> Give it up for the one, the only, Mr. John Feidelberg, yeah, everybody. Yeah, fights. What's up? It buddy? is my fucking pleasure. I'm so happy. It's my first time in the studio. I know. I and know. I'm jacked up. You do look tight. You look, you look you like. Look good. Yeah. Look like you're about to be in the Eternals or something <laughs> like that. The cousin I, I that had, shows up. I had some life changes recently. I, I stopped drinking for a bit. I started drinking again, but I stopped <laughs> drinking. I, it didn't take. It didn't yeah, take. It didn't take. Took the weekend long, off. How long did you stop? I stopped you're a for boozer. two months. Wow, that's pretty good. Yeah, wow. which is it's a nice reminder. Like, hey, you're not an alcoholic. Yeah, right? I just went through. Uh -huh. I, I, I I was in the hospital and they were like, put your hands out. They were checking me for the shakes, and I they're like somehow you don't have the. Why shakes. were you in the hospital? Uh, pancreatitis. What is that? It's you drink too much. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Glad to see you back alcoholic. boozing again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, it's it's you poison. You drink poison for every night for yeah, a decade for, straight, yeah, yeah, yeah. and eventually uh, your organs are like, hey, man, I don't know, you got to fucking Wait, chill so out a little you bit. You had to go to the allegedly, hospital. Allegedly, allegedly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah, because here's the deal. Here's the fucking rub on pancreatitis. No test for it. So I'm just taking the word of doctors. They yeah. don't know. He's quacks. They, they don't yeah. know what's going they on. They were like, you got a stomachache? I was like, yeah, it's real bad. Like, Get the you, horse liver they, medicine they, out. They, Let's <laughs> go, baby. Like, can you feel it in your back? I was like, yeah, I can feel it in my back. They're like, all right, you got pancreatitis. I was like, I don't fucking know if that's for her. So what was the solution? Just cut back on the booze? It was. They, it was so the doctors at the HR, at the ER, HR. What <laughs> <laughs> the hell's going on over there at Barstool? <laughs> He's at the barbershop. <laughs> <laughs> I came for some highlights and a colonoscopy. <laughs> <laughs> the 
doctors at the ER were like, you can never drink again. Never touch it again. And I was like, okay. Like, you whatever. proved them wrong. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then I the went John to John Feidelberg <laughs> story. Yeah, yeah. I did, I just, the second I got in there, I started a tablespoon at a time. Every every night, added one more. Like yeah. that fucking, like, I think it's like a Russian story about yeah. carrying a one pound heavier pig up a mountain. Yeah. John, you can't do it. I'm telling you, you're not going to do it. You're chasing a chicken around 14th Street. <laughs> yeah. With a martini in your hand. Yeah. But just like, I went to see a doctor three weeks later, and the doctor was like, first of all, now I gotta be honest, this doctor was in a basement. Like, uh-huh. this, like his office is in a basement. I took the elevator downstairs to see this doctor. <laughs> like, went in, went in street level, hit oh, down man. to sea level. That's yeah. no good, dude, dude. No windows, no nothing. Unless there's an alien being stored down there. That, yeah, that's <laughs> fucking <laughs> shitty. <laughs> uh, we take no insurance. Yeah. Yeah. This sounds yeah. like a janitor. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah. They had three levels of security to get in, so they tell you a lot of things you don't want to hear in this office. But he's like. I wait, was like, hold on. Wait, three levels they, wait, of security. What? So I guess the first one, there was no one there. So there was a security desk. And that, that desk said, take the elevator downstairs. Is okay. this, a, is, is this a, I'm sorry, back this up. Is this a specialist? Is this is nope regular regular primary care my new primary care because this guy's the fucking man <laughs> <laughs> he tells you exactly what you wanted to hear <laughs> I I literally was like yo can I sign you right now off the free agent block like, yeah let's I'm, take I'm gonna start coming here no matter what John let me ask you a question are you having enough chicken wings every day <laughs> <laughs> I need at least a dozen two dozen out of you every day John <laughs> and he was like he's I saw he's like what are you here for and I told him like it's a follow up from an ER visit. And he's like, okay, so what did they say? And I was like, they told me like I can never drink again. And he get out of here. He goes, he goes, <laughs> but Doc, I gotta be honest, I'm gonna fuck up some sponsorships. So. <laughs> yeah. goes, yeah. We're a new Amsterdam company, what? so <laughs> <laughs> that's, I, that's I, almost I'm exactly what I told I'm contractually them. And it's almost obligated. exactly what the company told me. <laughs> I'm contractually obligated to have nine you more teams. Figure this out, Ken. <laughs> Hey, you cash your check. You got to drink it. <laughs> he was like, he's like, he goes, they told you what? He was very flamboyant. And I was like, and like he had like, he like put his hip to the side like he was on Broadway. Like, yeah. They told you what? Started <laughs> shaking a Cosmo. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, they said I can't drink. He goes, listen, I want you to live the best and most fulfilling life possible. And if you can't have a beer, if you when die you at want 38, beer, that's what happens. <laughs> yeah. Okay. He said, you can't have that. I was like, all right, that's fine. Like whatever. Um, and he was like, you can start drinking this weekend if you want. And I was like, Jeez. Don't have to tell when me did twice. Bravo, open so, up a doctor's yeah. So that was that was two weeks ago. And uh, I mean, I, I've been uh, I've been off it for a little bit. I got off the piss for a bit. I got um, off I, the pit. What's that? Off booze? Yeah, off booze for a little that's bit. That's trashy. <laughs> off the piss for no, a bit. No, that's fucking British, bro. That's that's class. I'm off the drink. Yeah, I'm off oh, the drinks, man. The drink. <laughs> then then I got quit dip too. Stop chewing tobacco. That's good. Nice. That one's been three months. I, but I saw you were smoking cig. Started smoking cigarettes. <laughs> 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 Bro, I was I was outside just leaning against your building smoking a cigarette before I came up here. You Thirty-four called me. I years down. old in 2021 started smoking. No, That's 33. Crazy. Thirty-three years old. The middle, in 2021. the middle of the middle of a fucking lung collapsing <laughs> pandemic. He starts smoking Bernies. Hi, I'm John Feidelberg, and smoking and ketamine turned my life around. <laughs> Dude, I like I like told someone that. <laughs> Is your doctor in a basement? Because he should be. <laughs> I told someone that like. Like braggadociously, I was like, "Yeah, I haven't had a drink in a while. Quit dip too." It's like, but I was like, I did start smoking cigarettes, and they were like, "What?" Like it was. That's crazy. I, I was so proud to be like, I do have one vice that I just picked up. It's fucking the one they kicked out in the nineties. <laughs> <laughs> it's the one the world, the whole world got hip to yeah. in '88. <laughs> Kids going retro. I like it. <laughs> I've Ty- always been an old soul, you yeah. know. Tie dye shirts and unfilters. <laughs> All right, we got to go back on this because I'm slightly concerned. So you weren't feeling well, mm-hmm. all right, and so you went. To, so you went to. How did you end up in the ER? Got that bad? It was. It was just One night. like it would. No, it was in the. It was in the afternoon. It was actually during an interview. Okay. Um. Fucking. What's his name? Fucking. Was one was like go to the hospital. It was. Uh, so how long have you been acting? <laughs> <laughs> it was, Screaming at a guy on Zoom. Who plays Frodo? <laughs> um, who plays Frodo? Oh my. Elijah Wood. Elijah Wood. Elijah Yo, Wood goes, go to the fucking there. hospital. Elijah Wood told you to go to the <laughs> I was hospital. Like, All right, Elijah. Fine. <laughs> hey, he's I the kept, chosen I, one. You listen to that guy. I kept, I kept going. Ah! 
<laughs> in the middle of the interview. Like, I would just flex back. I go, ah! Because <laughs> it was like this Final weird... plays by his own fucking rules, <laughs> dude. weird pain in Ooh, my back. So what was Gandalf like? <laughs> <laughs> Did you get to keep the ears? <laughs> Dude, he refers to he refers to shooting Lord of the Rings like someone refers to uh, going to Harvard. Where it's like, I was up at school in Cambridge. He was like, Yeah, I was at work over in New Zealand. We're like, we know what you were doing, yeah. dude. Say so you were filming Lord <laughs> yeah. of the Rings. Sure, oh, that's the worst, I was doing yeah. some work in New Zealand. <laughs> yeah, we're aware. <laughs> yeah, we all saw a two towers was awesome. What you do? <laughs> so you didn't feel well. So I didn't feel well. Just went to the hospital and they they kind of did all their shit. But here's what happened in the hospital. Hey, 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 hey. You went to the ER. That's different. Yes, yes, ER. All right, so what did they test you for, check you out for? Give you, like, an MRI and stuff like that? Nope, nope. They got <laughs> ultrasound. Ultrasounded me up. Okay. Yep, um, and that was it. That was the only test they gave me, and they were like, all right, we're going we're gonna to put you in the hospital for a little bit. Now, did they oh, ask they how often? In? Yeah, oh, yeah. Wait, what? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so they found something. They, yeah, they found pancreatitis. <laughs> Acute pancreatitis. I Supposedly. Be <laughs> yeah. yeah, so their fucking degrees say. Yeah. I don't know. I have my own suspicions about what it was. I think I was just dehydrated. My dad and mom agree. Yeah. My, oh, oh. <laughs> you want to hear some shit? So does the insurance company. <laughs> <laughs> Get them out. My, my dad called me the morning after I got admitted. He goes, do you need to go to rehab? I said, I said no, I don't think so. I'm all set. And I went home the day after that. That's what a guy that. who needs rehab would say. I'm all set. <laughs> I said, he goes, all right, just checking and hung up. And then I go home the next day, and I'm home for three hours. He goes, you want a beer? I was like, bro, 20 hours ago, you called me asking I go to rehab. Yeah. Now I'm on the couch in pain in my fucking hospital socks still. <laughs> and, and you go, do you need a beer? <laughs> Looks like you can use a cold one there, man. <laughs> Take some of that worry off your face. But well, the uh, So they admitted me, and... Um, I, fu- I fucked it. So doctors have this thing now where doctors don't wear white jackets anymore. I don't know if they ever did. I don't know if it's a TV or movie thing. But I can't tell who's a doctor and who I'm isn't. bringing this whole system down. They're, they're all in fucking... Now anybody can get a finger up my ass. <laughs> yeah, well, you fucking <laughs> jumped to the end of the story. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Dude, so I'm in there for two days, right? They've taken my vitals probably seven separate times, right? They come in, hook me up with the fucking blood pressure thing, mm-hmm. put the fucking oxygen level thing on my finger, t- check my temperature, yada, yada, yada. One morning, come this doctor comes in, and I just hit him with a, what's up, bro? And Because he's in the scrubs. He looks, he's a young-looking dude in scrubs, figured he's a nurse. Pulls out his thing. He goes, actually, it's Dr. Timuron. I'm like, all right, whatever. Dr. Timuron. Business card? <laughs> no, no, just like a, what <laughs> Facebook those page. Chips, you know what I mean? Like a, <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. And, uh, That's pretty official. The zit, the, yeah, those yeah. are sweet. Especially <laughs> since you got your keys on there. Yeah. yeah, this is how he gets into fucking, I don't know, the morgue to fuck a body. <laughs> and, uh, and he's like, he's like, actually, he's talking to Timron. I was like, all right, my bad, whatever. You know, and he talks to me for a little bit. And from that point forward, every time they took my vitals, they took it from my ass. And I think he was so pissed off that I called him bro. Rather than Wait, doctor. What vitals are they taking in your ass? My temperature. Yeah, temperature, rectal. Yeah, That's the best they, way to do it. They were doing. That's how my mom did it. From that, I had Still seven. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Patty. <laughs> I had seven different mouth temperatures, and then my last three all fucking rectally. And he, and at one point, I caught him peeking around the corner. Right? <laughs> I swear to fucking God. And he, and we locked yeah, eyes. Yeah, deeper, deeper. We, we, we locked Put eyes. Put the lipstick on him. Uh, uh, um, you know, like the position you get in when you're getting things in your ass. I would just say and no. Go mouth. Go mouth. I, well, I'm gonna tell a fucking nurse what to do. During a pandemic, they're heroes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've seen. You could have told them. Yeah, I walk out, tell a troop what to do too. No thanks. <laughs> and, uh, and and they. Um, they, he comes out, he's like, he's like, actually, he doesn't need it that way. He doesn't need it that way. And he goes, unless, do you care? And I was like, no, I don't care. Like, I just want to get the fuck out of here. But I wouldn't hate it if you, I don't know, maybe close that door because the door is wide open. <laughs> yeah. Or, I don't know, shut this curtain. And in the middle of the curtain, she <laughs> shut it If we didn't do it ass. in the waiting room, yeah. I'd, I'd prefer it. <laughs> it was too, like, like, I could just see outside. Oh. I'm fucking fetal position. My boxer's down. I could just make eye contact with people walking through the hallway. Nice. You're fucking crazy. That's Boncos. But you feel better. Feel great. You look great. You Thanks. do. Like, you have more ben, life to you. Do you do. <laughs> That's ben, unfortunate. You, you, I was really trying to do the other thing. Yeah, I was really trying to go the other way with <laughs> it. Here's the thing, though. You look tight. You look like you've been working out. And this didn't happen in a couple couple weeks or a week. Yeah. It, it has? Did. Yeah. Jesus. I don't know, but every time we see him, he's got like a baggy sweatshirt on, too, I think. Maybe. Maybe he might have just been yeah. hiding that tight bod the whole time. <laughs> Not showing it off in the office. <laughs> I understand it. I just took a sexual harassment quiz today, so no, I know, I know when I'm around the ladies to keep the sweatshirt on. <laughs> <laughs> a sexual harassment quiz? 
<laughs> Whatever you call them. <laughs> training. Training. <laughs> you want to fuck me? No, no, no. <laughs> I know you can't announce to the office now. I'd like to see more half nude women in here. Yeah. That was an actual question. Really? Yeah, it was like, uh, sem- they used semi nude, not half nude, but it was, uh, I'd like to see more semi nude women around the office. It's was not it from a radio station in the 70s. <laughs> <laughs> Opie and Anthony running a fucking. Can you take a co worker to a monster truck show? They always feel like setups because I remember I was getting a job at a, at a supermarket. I had to take like a 30 question quiz of like, what would you do if you caught someone stealing? Have you? And I was like, this all. Let them fucking is- go. You know what you pay me, right? <laughs> exactly. But I'm like, who's answering the wrong question? <laughs> yeah, who are right. you tripping up to be like, yeah, I steal at work? I'm yeah, I'd, I'd hate to admit it, but I didn't read any of the stuff I was supposed to read before uh, I got to the common sense questions. Yes, never, <laughs> but never. I used to work at GNC. I used to have friends steal stuff on purpose. I feel then- everybody stole everything from GNC. Dude, GNC. It was like everybody knew somebody. Like, my buddy works here. He can get you, you know, 50 gallons of creatine. I've never known anybody that worked at GNC, and that's <sighs> complete garbage. You are. Oh, <laughs> dude, I worked at GNC. I worked at GNC in East Providence, Rhode Island. Were you bigger? Were you yoked up at I was the time? bigger, yeah. Really? I was, I was like, I mean, I wasn't like a fucking, you know, you weren't mistaking me for Mr. Olympia, but I worked out. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and I would have friends come in and buy shit. And then walk out the door and immediately come in and return it because once someone returns something, then it was opened and it's a it's a food product. It's product done, yeah. So you can and then we just all take it home. Ah, that's pretty good. Yeah, the smart. I get saved a lot of college money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Glad you're feeling good. Thanks. Are right, you drinking a lot of water? I always drink. All I ever drank was alcohol or water. I don't drink coffee. So I don't drink soda. I don't drink juice. <laughs> That's all I ever drink is alcohol. <laughs> That's literally how you said that. I'm a water My man. mom didn't let us drink sugar as a kid. She's like, no, you just drink water. Like, all right. Yeah, that worked out. <laughs> <laughs> got, him this, got him this far. The only, the only sugar we could have was the Martinelli's, the uh, the fake champagnes. Woo! Yeah. Shout out Special to Special day. Every day's New Year's <laughs> Day. I'll tell you that right now. When you got a bottle of Martinelli's. <laughs> I like the apple grape myself, but. The uh, apple grape? Yeah, they got an apple grape. I don't even know combo. what flavors I had. I just had uh, probably straight apple. Probably straight apple. I like yeah. you. I'm predicting straight <laughs> apple family. Yeah, right at the middle. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you drink? What is what is your what is your cocktail? Preference? Whiskey. Whiskey. On the rocks, neat, just whiskey. And you were yeah. having one or two of those about per day. One or two glass? Yeah. No. Oh, you weren't. <laughs> it wasn't so well, you weren't drinking that much. Oh, I was drinking more than yeah, a glass. He, oh, yeah, really? He, yeah. Fuck he, yeah. He, squ- he, he squaffed at the one to two. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't. I thought you were saying, oh, no, not that yeah, much. No, the pandemic, we were hitting it. <laughs> <laughs> pandemic, we were doing half bottle to a bottle a night. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. I, was like, I was like, world's going down. I'll go down with it for sure. Go down with Yeah, hey. <laughs> with a fine single mom. <laughs> all right. Well, that's good. They give you any pills or anything like that? Nothing at all. Damn, not a fucking thing. All right, well, get out. They were hitting me with the <laughs> hitting me with the Dilaudid while I was in, though. That'll yeah, get were you. they? That'll <laughs> get you. Yeah, it'll get you. It'll get you fucking. You can't shit for a couple of days. Oh, but, yeah, bound you up, dude. I, I didn't even know what Dilaudid was, but then they were. Um, what was it? I, I asked for more <laughs> because I was still in pain. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and they're like, you can't do any more Dilaudid. We can give you morphine though. I was like, oh, I'm above morphine. <laughs> I thought I thought morphine was the top of the pyramid. No, they were like, no, we'll get you morphine. I was like, yeah, hook that up. Sure. Morphine's nice. pretty good. Morphine will get you going. Ooh, I, had a, I had an so angio. That icy, warm feeling cooking <laughs> through your body. Feels like Christmas Eve all the time. <laughs> it's, it's so good. I had an angiogram not that long ago. And they What's were, that? Uh, they go in through your arm to look oh, at your yeah. heart. And um, they gave me, they, they said I would be in a twilight sleep. So I'm like, all right, cool. I'll get to. I'll be aware of it. You know what I mean? I get yeah. to enjoy it. I won't just be asleep. Hey, fucking real stingy with it. I'm like, yo, buddy, let's go. <laughs> fucking. Yeah, top me off over yeah. here. <laughs> Make sure the next one's full, all right? <laughs> That's not six ounces, I'll tell you that right now. Let's go, buddy. Yeah, when somebody's controlling it and you're in a safe environment like that. <laughs> <woo>! <laughs> That's right. how I want to do ketamine. <laughs> Ketamine's hot in the streets now. It's re- a lot of people are doing ketamine. Everyone's talking about ketamine. I want someone who... It doesn't have to be like in a real safe environment. I'm not a pussy about it. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a raise. Basically, if you have ketamine right now, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> he has to go to the ER for pancreatitis. <laughs> they say he might be an alcoholic. They put him in the hospital. He quits drinking for a couple of months. Back on the s- horse. Start smoking. Now he's on the prowl for some, for some K. Some special K, baby. And I ain't talking you know, when Kellogg's. I, when I went to that doctor's, my new primate here, I had a list. I He'll was like, probably give it to you by the sounds like, of it. Like, if I say something that might affect the pancreatitis, 
curious. Why don't you stop me? And just, yeah. started, just started listing stuff off. Mushrooms, weed. I was like, just going through the whole list. Yeah. He's like, no, you can do all that. Now, a big thing, it. I always lie to them, you know, because, you know, I lie to myself a lot. But when they asked you how often do you drink and how much, were you completely honest with oh, them? Probably didn't even ask me anymore. Really? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they were like, we got a pretty good idea, dude. <laughs> you got a bottle on you, so. <laughs> I tell the doctors I quit smoking a few months ago. That's my go-to. Oh, yeah? Yeah. When I quit I, a few months ago. How often do you go to the doctors? I've been going a lot because I just got insurance, so I've been going through around. round <laughs> of getting all my shit done. Getting Dude, the works, baby. See, but that's, you don't fucking ask questions. Like, you're like, what's the thing they tell lawyers? Don't ask a question you don't know uh, the answer to. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, yeah, what, yeah. That's what you're asking doctors. This is my first well, they time. they need to no, know they, that, No, though. they ask. Why? Worst guy- case. Worst case scenario, you die. This guy's walking the plank as it is. They need to know if he's. They yeah, that's know the worst case scenario. I know. So they that's, started making a couple that's of not bucks. So Can't bad. Now. <laughs> the fucking. I. I. This is this that time visiting that primary care was my first time at a doctor since two thousand. Since two thousand and. I haven't been to the doctor in a long time. Eleven. Yeah. That's what I was a little surprised about. I would assume that you had nice insurance. And I that do. You, you go that you would go to a yearly checkup regularly. Look at no. him. What do you tell? He looks like the bad guy in Sonic. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Not going to the doctor. This guy plays it fast and loose. He just asked you for ketamine. I don't remember. I don't. I don't remember that bozo oh. having those highlights. <laughs> Woo! Those things are nice. This is sunning. Not highlights. Is it? This is the '80s, baby. Wow. Coming back at you. That's yeah. the mo- that's the tr- you have money and you're doing sunning. <laughs> yeah. Aren't you sponsored by a Salon as well. He puts an air she on doesn't his legs. Do, Erica Fleischman, Fleischman Salon does not do color. She just does cuts. Ooh. But the I might have to go there. Oh, she'll take care. Yeah, of yeah, Did yeah, you I have to? Do is it part of the ingredients or the part of the steps of sun in that you have to uh, get the sun at a community pool? Is that usually how that works? <laughs> <laughs> no. Here, you want to hear some real fucking garbage shit about sun in that I learned? You don't. It does. It's not the sun that does it. Oh, it's just the, the heat. Chemical. So you can uh, just do it with a blow dryer. I think I knew that. I did think I knew you that. You can just yeah. fucking sit in your apartment. Oh, get, getting some fucking tips. Get, do it in February right if you want. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> guys, I got to say, it's not every day you meet a master. This is pretty excellent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He Are you was, looking for an assistant? When it, when it, <laughs> when it comes to going, he was like born there. Like we learned yes. to operate in this world. Yeah. He's from there. You know what I mean? This is Bane, Batman, <laughs> yeah. the Joker, and the Riddler. <laughs> <laughs> All rolled into one with just a touch of cat woman. <laughs> he plays by like. his own rules as Fidel Burr. <laughs> this guy walked into the dojo with a black belt on him. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all hiring? <laughs> Take on all of Cobra Kai and LaRusso all at once. <laughs> Kempi, let's talk about our good friends over there at Ladder. A ladder? Yep. There's been a lot of shakeups in industries lately, and Ladder is doing that to the insurance game, baby. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, before Ladder, if you wanted to get life insurance, you had to drive across town, sit through a stupid sales pitch, fill out a ton of paperwork. None of that with Ladder. No. Nah. You get fast, affordable term life insurance without ever leaving your home. Term life, baby. 100% digital when you apply for $3 million or less in coverage. No doctors, no needles, no paperwork. You set it and forget it. It's a couple of bucks right there. I don't know if I'm contractually allowed to say that. So <laughs> if, you're, uh, if, you're be, if you're between the ages of 20 to 60, widespread on that, 20 to 60. Big range. Uh, you need it's a big co- demo. You need coverage, and you want to team up with a company that's redeeming life insurance. Choose Ladder. Uh, go to ladderlife.com slash garbage today to see if you're instantly approved. That's ladder, L-A-D-D-E-R, life.com slash garbage, ladderlife.com slash garbage. Do it. Yeah. Gang, this podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp. Mm-hmm. Do you have anything in your life that's holding you back from being happy? Well, BetterHelp can help. You can start communicating with a professional licensed therapist in under 48 hours. It's not a self-help line. All right? It's nothing like that. We're talking licensed professional therapist in the privacy of your own home. Yeah, you can log in anytime, anywhere, send a message to your counselor. You'll get a timely, thoughtful response. Yes, you will. Plus, you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions. You won't ever have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room, hear anybody talking, that whole thing that nobody hears you crying next Mm-mm. door. You know what I mean? In fact, so many people have been using BetterHelp. They're recruiting additional counselors in all 50 states. Look at that. They're hiring, baby. They're booming. Business is booming over there, there you at go. BetterHelp. A uh, special offer for all you garbage listeners. You get 10% off your first month nice. at betterhelp.com slash garbage. Not one time, two time. Your first month That's at great. betterhelp.com slash garbage. Do it. Yeah. You know what I love? Helix. Ooh, you Ooh. know I do. Shout out to the Helix mattress. Love them. And the good folks. 
That worked there. Yes. Because they take the guessing game out of picking a mattress. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. You used to go to the mattress store, walk around like a bozo, Bozo. lay on a bed that a bunch of other people have laid on. Bunch of mouth You don't know the last time they showered. No. Helix got you all straightened out. Take the quiz online. Takes two minutes. Matches you with the nice bed, whether you sleep cool, you sleep hot, or you sleep fat. I sleep fat. And they got they got stuff for the big boys. They and got gals, stuff for the big boys. For the big gals out there too. Got my vote. Uh, me and my lady did it. They were nice enough to send us a mattress. Um, so we we took the two minute quiz. We got set up with the Twilight mattress. Game fucking changer. Let yeah. me tell you, game best best sleep I ever had in my life. I always had some some idiot mattress that I got from my mom or somebody, a sister, or a, stole from a college dorm room, something. Mm-hmm. First adult mattress I've ever had. Look at you. Home run, grand slam, best sleep of my life. So if you're looking for a mattress, take the quiz, order the mattress that you're matched to, comes right to your door, ship for free, never have to go to the mattress store again. Go to helixsleep.com slash garbage, take the quiz, match it, send it, 10-year warranty. Uh, best thing, you get to try it out for 100 nights hundred nights risk-free. What? So even pick it up if you don't love it, but I'm what? telling you, it's got the Kippy seal of approval. You're going to love it. Uh, Helix is offering up to $200 off all mattress what? orders and two free pillows for our listeners. They're at, crazy over there. At helixsleep.com slash garbage. One more time, $200 off all mattress orders, up to $200 off all mattress orders, two free pillows for our listeners at helixsleep.com slash garbage. Now back. Tell the show. You were telling a story. I saw you posted on Instagram or whatever, a story of you drunk, <laughs> eating a, bana- a bunch of bananas, smoking cigs, and some guy goes, hey, Feats, I love you. <laughs> and you're like, it's fine. It's fine, it's actually. Yeah, I, I didn't want that guy to go home thinking. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. There was, a, there was a video of that? No, I heard, I heard you tell the story. No, no, no you no, animated no, yeah, yeah, it, maybe. Oh, uh, yeah, that, that drawing was really cute. Yeah, yeah it looked like a fucking strung out Doug Funny. <laughs> <laughs> Which is painfully accurate for what I, I, I really like. I got news for you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> been, listen, yeah. been listening to the beats too much. <laughs> yeah, I, I was at the bar. I just took a walk. because I, I, People thought that was people were surprised by that part. Where, like, I go out for walks all the time when I'm with friends. I like, need a break from hanging out with people. And I'll just go. Yeah, that's kind of weird. That's weird? I think that's one of those things like you you get a little fucking your social battery gets a little drained. Like I'm gonna go for a walk. How long are these walks? Not too long, ten minutes. Just I guess to... I go out to smoke a lot. Yeah. I'm, not everybody smokes. You go, what do you do? Go around the block? Yeah, go around the block. I'll well, go you... pop in a convenience store, slam a water, eat a banana. I I'm embarrassed of the healthy things I do in my life. So that's why I was like sitting by the trash barrel instead of in front of the. the I love bar how you I was like at. you take a five minute break from. Drinking for yeah. a decade, and you think a banana is a healthy thing. <laughs> yeah. Like, if you were just like, hey, guys, I'm going to go grab a banana real quick, no one's going to be like, what are you no, doing? I think what are you, a health like, nut what the fuck's wrong I don't want the you. bartender to see me. Yeah. yeah. So I was I was hanging out on the corners on the corner 28th and 3rd, and I was just like, I didn't want to be in front of the bar because they'd see me. You but hang I, out over there a lot, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's yeah. over the factory. Right. I saw I saw him at a show there. I was yeah. just, right. I, just I just did that show two weeks ago. It's yeah, great, yeah, yeah. a great spot it's that bar. bar yeah. Yeah, um, I was walking out of the show and he's sitting there. He's got like fucking nine potato skins in front of him. <laughs> the whole family. He's like Foley. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> the the uh, it's like, like I, when I take like a multivitamin at the office, I do it like under my desk. Cause that's weird. You tell everybody it's ketamine. If you're doing like, a, like I'll stand up Keep and ask for up. Adderall, but I don't like if I'm fucking doing like healthy shit. Cause then people are like, oh, it becomes a thing with your friends. Like, oh, look who's trying to better himself. It's embarrassing. He's doing lines of emergency. That's all you, dude. No one, <laughs> yeah, no one psycho. thinks that. Why are you telling me I got a weird brain? <laughs> I was um, curious. Yeah, no, we're good. We're good. Um, I was curious. Um, what did you have for breakfast this morning? Hold on, but a pin in that for a second. Okay. You were just talking about taking the pills. Do you take? What's oh. the order of the pill? Is it water then pill or he pill and then water? Pill water. Pill water. Pill okay. water. Yeah. Pop a pill, what are you fucking? Water. What is it like putting milk in cereal? That's insanity. If you're it's doing people, the water in the milk, a, a lot water of the people pill. do it. It's uh, to me, it's like a fish. You just taking in everything. We like, just yeah. we just spoke with Mr. Jim Norton, who takes a sip of the water and then sucks the pill in and swallows it. And that, a lot of people in the comments were saying that's what they do. That's insane. I know. Okay, that's, that's insane. what I do with salty treats. Wait, what? Is, what? Or actually, no, I no, I still go food first. I like goldfish, Cheez Its, shit like that. I put oh, I put a handful of the Cheez Its or the goldfish in my mouth, and then while they're in there, I have a sip of water. Oh yeah, yeah that's but classic a bite, bite and sip. sip. Of course, yeah, you got to bite and sip. <laughs> that's how those snacks are supposed to be. Cons- Oreos, consumed. I'll do I'll do it with of everything. Of course, dude, Kevin, want to kick it up a notch? Do it with an ice cold fucking Coca Cola. Cool. That'll blow your <laughs> what fucking. I'm saying my mom would be pissed. <laughs> what I'm saying is they go they go drink first and then, then pill. No, 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 it's crazy. That's nuts. That's nuts. Are you? You're a dry pill man. I'm, I assume that if you needed to, right? I, I can if necessary. Okay. You know, I, 
I have bottles of water around the house. So it's not I, really good ba- lock on the bathroom door at the <laughs> bar. <laughs> you can get it down real quick. <laughs> what did you have for breakfast? For breakfast today, I had um, I just do like smoothies. Okay. I have like uh, I have like prepackaged smoothies. Well, that's healthy. I, that, that's good. That I did myself. A little kale, a little spinach. Wait, prepackaged. What do you mean? Like I just put them in. I put like little bags in the freezer. And then, of the actual already smoothie no, or no, of just, just the, the ingredients? And then I put it in a blender. I don't know, John. Good. That sounds yeah. pretty healthy and pretty responsible. It is. Yeah. It's and pretty lame. <laughs> it's <laughs> awful. A it's awful. We got a narc hey, over here. Just to be clear, when I go to ask me what I have before I go to fall asleep, that's a totally different yeah, it's thing. Like, it's like 10,000 Skittles. <laughs> sour Patch Kids. Sour Patch I got a bag. I got a fucking pocket in my bed sheets that I fill with Sour Patch Kids and Justin's Peanut Butter Cups. And I just kind of roll over while I watch TV in bed and I eat that shit. Just, that's, cla- that's a classy peanut butter cup though Dude, justin those justins about nine nine bucks a clip yeah, they'll <laughs> blow your fucking hair back Dude, people try and argue with me they say reese's are better oh, it's not even close yeah, not. it is justin's in a all no, the, reese's uh, is all, fine i'm not they're anti- almost, reese's. listen reese's are great the best but justin's is so smooth all the, it's all you better can taste all the, the money in it yeah yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah, can yeah. you feel the crack it's not a reese's will bend in your mouth a justin's cracks mm-hmm. so I'm, and i'm a dark chocolate guy too Dark chocolate's nice. Yeah, dark chocolate. They do it good. You do come from a good family, so that makes sense. <laughs> it's true. Dark chocolate just happened one day. It was like I was like, milk chocolate, milk chocolate, milk chocolate. For me, it was for like Europeans. How old are you? I am 33. Yeah, I think that. How about how long have you been on the Two, dark three years ago. Yeah, that makes Something sense. Like that. You too, yeah. right? Around 30? Yeah, usually, dark, the dark chocolate, dark chocolate with sea salt, the oh, or whatever, yeah. will blow your fucking <laughs> hair back. <laughs> That's how when I quit smoking, I would just do like three of those a day. <laughs> it's like like a ba- mo- I want everybody to know I'm back smoking. Again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's like Still a mo- on the dark chocolate? No, I'm off. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a man of one vice, okay? <laughs> dark chocolate's tight. It's when good. you were a kid, that shit was like. It might as well have been cat food. Right, right. Oh. It was poison. Fucking brutal. There but was the Hershey had a dark, and I remember, yeah, just no, it was like eating ashes or something. I even remember when my mom be making chocolate chip cookies, and she'd be using the semi-sweet, the semi-sweet morsels, sweet. having a handful of those before they were in the cookie. Like, what the fuck <laughs> is this? You know how bad something has to taste for, like, a kid to be like, no, I'm not doing the candy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that somehow they found the ingredient to that, but then it switches. It's like that thing in your brain where cilantro, is it cilantro? Yeah. Some people yeah, taste soap. like soap. Yeah, I'm a, I, I taste soap. You do, I do it's too. It's more soapy do for me, yeah. Don't do it. I yeah. used to hate it, now I love it. Look oh, I didn't know that gene could flip. Yep. Still smoking cigs, though. <laughs> <laughs> we, all, we all want to burn one down. I got a pack. <laughs> what cigarettes do you have? I, I, I just have cause I'm because I'm not even like back on cigarettes. I started smoking. Is it American Spirits? Uh, no, they're Marlboros. Okay. Marlboro Lights? No, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not, not Reds. All right. uh, gentlemen. gentlemen over here. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were going to say American Spirits. I, was like, I heard those take like 25 minutes to smoke. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a fast smoker. I got to get it and get out. Yeah. Just get my buzz on. Get bananas to eat. Yeah, <laughs> sure, I, I got bananas to eat and doctors to see. I got pancreatitis, for God's sakes. <sighs> All right. Wow. This what a, a fucking bonkos What a one. tornado. <laughs> this kid's nuts. <laughs> this kid's also, too, uh, I've said, because we've obviously, you were one of the, I think you were the second Barstool person we've had we had on. I think it's after Kate. Uh, after Kate, yeah. then you. And then we've had a bunch, obviously, afterwards. Uh, but you are still, anybody asks who we've had, especially from Barstool, you came on and you were like, there's no way. The only person to ever come on the show in the fucking two years we've been doing it or whatever, who's come on and said, I just want to state there's no way I'm garbage. <laughs> That's what he said. There, he goes, there's absolutely no way I'm going to be garbage. He's a madman. And within 14 seconds of meeting him, I'm like, you're nuts. Have you wet the bed recently? No, 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 no. Not at all? No, no. Nothing? No. I, I wet the bed in a long time. Pandemic? I'm... I think, I don't think so. Okay. I don't think so. I don't know for sure. We don't have all these. <laughs> all the, I don't have all my data in front of me. Yeah, I I think it's been a while. Okay. There's a stain on my new mattress, <laughs> but I How think new? it's I think it's sweat. <laughs> Sweat's sweat, not I'm, yellow. I'm pretty sure it's like a sweat. What, were you doing burpees? So I bed? got a, I got a new mattress for the, during the pandemic. It's a Helix and, mattress, by and, the way. And I, is it nice? It is a Helix. Is and it? I, I, <laughs> promo code yeah. garbage. And I, I stripped I stripped the bed recently, and I. I was looking at it and I was just like, where the fuck did that come from? Because mm-hmm. I don't remember. There's Look, I just got a stain on my new mattress and I'm just going to leave it at that. Okay. Okay. Who, where it came from, who, who amongst us? Unfortunately, sure. we can't leave it at that. So let's, <laughs> so let's say here's the bed. About where would it be 
if an average size human being <laughs> was is it in the genital region? Bed? It or is it in the head, genital, or feet region? I was gonna say nipple. It's nipple region. That's so top. you're lactating. <laughs> <laughs> it's good now, news. Now it's a bigger. Let's say broad strokes, vaguely nipple to knee. That's the middle third. That's e- why well, your penis yeah. is in there. My penis is in the area, but it's also where I sweat the most. It's also covering all my sweat glands. I'm going pee. Yeah. <laughs> Without even putting eyes on it, I'm going pee. Plus, to be honest, I don't really care where it is in the bed because this screwball probably sleeps in all different <laughs> weird positions. Yeah, I actually down. very, very often, I would, and by very often, I mean 90% plus, I sleep on the couch. Really? Yeah, my air conditioner in my bedroom broke, and that was back in J- April, May, June, start You've of summer. Just couching it? And I just didn't feel like fixing it, and I haven't fixed it to this day. You can get a new one, right? Sure can. That's a whole thing, though. So, yeah. Wow. I'm a big couch sleeper. I've been a couch I, sleeper for a yeah, long time. I'm a huge oh, couch sleeper, yeah. too. I, I hate, I, as a kid, I used the to hate when my... Really big. <laughs> <laughs> it is a big couch. I love it. <laughs> the, as a kid, my dad and my mom were the kind of people who'd be like, wake up, go to bed. I'm like, no, I'm in bed. Yeah, Where I fell thing. asleep, I am in bed. I'm I would fine. get woken up every me. night at like 10.45 or 11 or something. Like, go up to bed. I'm like, I'm fucking snoozing. Yeah, here. how about you guys go to bed? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. the asleep one here. Don't wake that guy up and tell me to go to bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what's a real good time? You're laying on the couch on your side and you're facing out. It's the middle of the night. And you do that roll over and throw the leg over the couch, yeah. over like the pillow. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! It's like a month in Switzerland. Fucking <laughs> good night. Okay, so what's the stain situation on the couch? <laughs> couch is good. Couch Co- is so couple couple of spots of melted chocolate, but that's um, also come on. The, also by the sweat glands. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I I have for sure fallen asleep with like. Uh, a, a peanut butter cup or some bunch of crunch. You're like uh, an alcoholic toddler. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> He's nuts. You don't smoke weed, dude. Do you smoke weed? Not really, no. Do you think edibles? Uh, I did for a while. For like, for like a, I spent like a month last January on edibles. And uh, I go to bed so late that I would... I what go to time bed do you go to bed? Like 3 a.m. Every day? Give or take, yeah. And then what time you got to be at the office? Uh, whatever. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah a blanket what time on... do you get there? Ball, like ballpark? Tennis. Give Ten- a blanket on the couch with you. Uh, yeah. I, I keep a, a pillow? comforter over Do you, by the couch. And a pillow from the bed. Yep, and a pillow from the bed. Oh, a yeah. pillow from the bed on the couch yeah. is next level yeah. royalty that, that, shit. That's sick day shit. Yeah. 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 That's fantastic. I'm, I'm like a fucking old Irish alcoholic who Love like, it. like they're in the middle of a divorce, but they don't have the courage to tell everyone. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a little Jack Donaghy there. <laughs> Shout out to Donaghy. But the, um, but fuck, what were we saying before that? You get up, you go to bed at three. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, with the edibles. I was, edibles. uh, I take them, I was taking them at like two thirty, three 3 o'clock in the morning, and then zonking out, and then the next day, I'd fucking drag ass all day, and I, I couldn't figure out why, and I was like, I was like, I, think, high. I was like, I think I'm like in the middle of like a real depressive spiral, and then finally someone was like, dude, I just think you've just been high. Yeah, you've just been high for <laughs> I, was like, I was like, you're right. I'm, I'm just, only doing 400 I'm, milligrams just, a day. What I'm the hell? I was high on edibles until 7 p.m. <laughs> every day, and it was Jeez. killing me. Pressure insulin's probably fucking going <laughs> up and down, left and right. All right, let's get into some questions. Some are you garbage questions. Yes. Guys, so as you know, when you join the Patreon, we will answer your garbage question on air. It's just Mm -hmm. the best way to do it because we have Mm -hmm. so many submissions. Uh, And we got a couple of heaters for Mr. Fiedelberg right here. Yeah, talk about lucking out. You got one of the best right here. I know. This guy's (laughs) bonkos. Uh, All right, this one's from Hugh. Uh, I haven't had a question yet. Ever apply for a job and that you did not have the qualifications or experience for. (laughs) (laughs) Feidelberg just left. Might be a little snag over at Lenox Hill Hospital. (laughs) (laughs) Bro, that's the hospital I was at. You nailed it. (laughs) Um, Really, you were in Lenox Hill? (laughs) Yeah. Very classy. Yeah, I I went to the ER in Greenwich Village, and then they put me in the uh, the hospital up there. Did they take you in an ambulance from there to there? Really? Yeah. <laughs> not, not, not with the woo woos going though. Just like that's like they just put me in. The, <laughs> they just put me in, and then and then when we get there, this right? The fucking ambulance, crazy. The ambulance. <laughs> You're nuts. I'm sorry. What are the woo woos? <laughs> the, the alarms. And the, did you ask the driver to do that? Sirens. Yo, when we got there, the fucking ambulance driver goes, "Sorry, it took so long." I was like, yeah, "I wasn't allowed to hit the woo woos." If only there's a fucking <laughs> magic button in that car yeah. to get us to fucking there faster. You're, you're not dying. You're just an alcoholic. <laughs> yeah. I can't turn on the woo woos legally. 
Dude, you've ridden in an ambulance. That's, <laughs> That's fucking like awful. two weeks ago. <laughs> Bro, I was in an ambulance two weeks before that too. For what? Oh. Same, no, I was. This it was the same uh, route. I was going from the Lennox Hill ER to Lennox Hill. I woke up one morning just looking like a pelican. I had this huge fucking like gooey in my neck. They never got to the bottom of that one. Dude, take an Uber. You call the ambulance. I, I, I wanted to. No, 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 no. I, I, I live by the Grant Hill ER. And, like, okay. And uh, I just walked there, and then they transferred me again from there to the hospital on the Upper East Side. Jesus <laughs> Christ. So you've been in an ambulance twice. You think I've been hit 911 on myself? <laughs> Hello? I will fucking hey, die in my apartment before I call 911. Oh. I promise you that. He's the yeah. only 30-year-old that needs a life alert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck, Feidelberg's down again. <laughs> um, what the fuck? <laughs> but but you've been in an ambulance twice in the last six months. That's a correct. Yes. Correct. <laughs> That's a new question. This kid's fucking. <laughs> what was the last time you were in an ambulance? <laughs> this kid, for what? <laughs> this kid's worth every penny. <laughs> <laughs> this kid's fucking gorgeous. <laughs> He's gold. I never thought of it like that. That is so true. <laughs> most people go their whole lot. Most normal people go their whole lives out ever being in an ambulance. Oh, you man. did it twice recently. One for you don't know the reason, and the other ones are drinking too much. I bet, dude. I, if I, I, even if I'm dying, I'm taking a cab. I'm not getting a. Because you're looking as they're going by, like, oh, what's going on? Here? Don't look nice. No, it's no, not. They're fucking all over. It's not like in the movies. Yeah, either. it's not. It's comfortable. a bumpy ride. <laughs> Yeah. Plus, nobody moves for you in the city. No. <laughs> yeah, dude, especially without the woo woos. You're fucking <laughs> sitting in traffic that woo -woo. at like 5 p.m. on a Wednesday, trying to get uptown. <laughs> Takes fucking forever. All because and you also, like all because just, you like whiskey too much. <laughs> just so you know, a gurney not comfortable at all. Yeah, you got no. metal bars just getting shoved up your back and ass the whole ride. It's fucking brutal, brutal. Hey, but, can I get some ketamine at least for the ride? <laughs> <laughs> Something to take the edge off. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh. But uh, uh, to answer the question, uh, yeah. I have never applied for a job that I wasn't qualified for. <laughs> there was a time when I earlier on when I moved to New York where I was like, guess what? How You're, old were you when you moved to New York? Uh, I was like five, six years ago now. So okay. like 20. You, did you come to work for Barcelona? Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so like, the whole company moved down here. I think it was five and a half years ago. We'll call it something like that. And uh it's probably a year or two into it, and I was just like, this isn't, I'm not doing anything, this sucks. Mm -hmm. And my idea was that I am going to join a Big Brother program. Oh. So I tried to join a Big Brother program in Brooklyn. That poor bastard. And I applied. I tried. I, tried. I, I applied, and they were just like, nah, we don't think you got what it takes, kid. Really? <laughs> yeah. It's like, I just want to hang out with a homeless kid. And they were like, <laughs> <laughs> like dude, there has to be a better role we model. You got to draw the you. line somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> I want to hang out with a homeless kid. But they're not homeless. <laughs> I'm trying to find someone who's on my way to <laughs> I'm I, trying to learn a couple pointers from this kid. I was like, kid. look, I'm just trying to get someone to keep me on the straight and arrow. Don't you have a seven-year-old who's home alone? <laughs> Jesus. I'm not sure you know what the Big Brother program is. I'm looking for a kid to straighten me out a little bit. Like, look, I've been drinking too much on Friday nights. I need a reason to take it easy, get up on a Saturday morning, hang out with a child in a park, and they're like, bro. That, yeah, that's what, that's what parents want, is Feidelberg sniffing around. Hey, lady, I saw, I saw sleepers last night, and I feel guilty. <laughs> uh, it wasn't technically Big Brother, but it, I, for, I honestly forget what it was, but it was... It, that was the general gist. They didn't of want. It. They didn't. They didn't want your kind. Yeah, they were like, yeah. well, "You are." Wait, it wasn't. It wasn't Big Brother, Big Sister. No, it was like I. I, I could, the other I could, guy. I could, I could <laughs> figure it out, but it was. You just hung out with them on Saturdays. Stepdaddy. It was like a. <laughs> <laughs> Hear it, this guy will do. <laughs> <laughs> we take any dirt bag off the street. Yeah, dude, that's even more trash. That's what I'm saying. An off-brand Big Brothers, Big Sisters, you couldn't get in? No. <laughs> How'd G&C hire you? Who'd you, what'd you? Who'd you lie to get in there? That's what I want to know. God Fucking damn. shirts on backwards. You're wandering around. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> this kid's fucking screwballs. It's nuts. <laughs> Um, this one's appropriate. This is from Dallas. Ever had a credit card with your favorite sports team logo printed on it? You got a Red Sox <laughs> card, right? I've never had that because I've always thought that was garbage. Yeah, yeah. It's a great question. Yeah, 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 I've never yeah. had that. I can't tell you the credit card scheme I used to run, oh, though. Of course. <laughs> First off, get yourself a little brother. <laughs> 
I've never thing. asked the kids for ID. <laughs> <laughs> no, back when I was in college, and actually it was like right post college. I was I was working at bars, so I was making like five hundred bucks a month, <laughs> and no goddamn money. Five hundred bucks a month? Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and, uh, I hope they gave you a raise. <laughs> and it was we had no fucking money, and I used to get fuck. It was like at the start of. You know, like the Visa fucking gift cards? Sure. So it's like, those were just getting started. People oh, this is right up my ass. I love a good Visa gift card yeah. scam. Lay it on <laughs> People me. People didn't realize, really realize what they were. Sure. So I'd get like $15 gift cards going to a bar. Oh, yeah. I think we might have talked about this talk, yeah. uh, on your show. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, I yeah. Get, Big what, fan of that. Yeah. And they wouldn't run them. <laughs> well, they just uh, run it to make sure there's like, that there's the, like a it, dollar yeah. on there. And then I drink and then I just leave. Yeah. Wow. That's it's that's obs- a, it's obs- ha- yeah that's scum a shit. Scum shit. I can't shit. believe the and, big and, brothers didn't want you. I, yeah, I've been paying for that ever since I started making money. We're like now now I tip through the roof. Sure, sure, but sure. back in Southie in uh, 2010 to 2014. No, you had a 40 year run. 2010 to 2012. Okay, there were some bartenders who probably got fucked. I apologize. Sure. Hey, it happens. It's every man for himself. They were desperate times back then. Visa's still looking for him. <laughs> Can't go near the Capital One building. The gift card bandit struck again. <laughs> this time it was at O'Malley Saloon. <laughs> There's some bartender with valued customer on his kill list. <laughs> <laughs> and I find that son of a bitch. <laughs> John Q. Card holder. <laughs> we were going to ask you, uh, what is your credit card situation now? Do you have good credit? I have good credit right now. Credit? I can tell you exactly what my credit is right now. Please go ahead. But your credit score or how much credit you have? Well, how much what's your well, how much credit do you have? I don't know what that means. Like what you what's <laughs> what's your credit card limit? Like if you could like oh, 10,000, oh, 5,000, oh, oh, 2,000, 10,000. 10, yeah. 10? 10. All right. I thought it'd be more, but okay. I I don't ask. I don't spend I like I, my credit card I I fucking I just pay it right away. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. I've never like I don't need any more than that. I don't like mm-hmm. <laughs> a bottle of whiskey is forty bucks. <laughs> <laughs> one a day though, that gets up there. Do you have an American Express card? I do not. I've never applied for one. Really? I don't like. I don't really spend money that much, so I I have my credit score. I don't know what that. I I don't know what those things mean. So my <laughs> yeah. credit score, I, sure. whatever. Um, but yeah, that's it's. Okay. I think it's ten. That's good. That's good. <laughs> We're his. We uh, both just got ours increased. Uh, for a long time, he was five hundred bucks, and I was two hundred bucks. <laughs> but we just, we just got it increased. I just got. I was got that a, a Visa Bucks card? <laughs> <laughs> your, your mom has to add money to it every month. Visa little guys. <laughs> <laughs> a little, a little Kickstarter, a little it training. Was bad. That was that's what everybody said. Like I just kept getting denied, and they were like, "You have to get one of those prepaid ones where you put like five hundred bucks yeah, on yeah, it, yeah. then spend that five hundred. I didn't have a bank that's, account up until. I think five years ago was was when I had an actual bank, bank account? account. Yeah, dude. See, I used to have. I had in college. I had one of those like emergency credit cards that, you mm-hmm. show that like I didn't use for emergencies because I'm not a fucking nerd. Yeah, and I'd use it for everything. And then when my mom realized I started using it for everything, she stopped paying it, but never told me. So when I was like 30 years old, I had awful credit, and I was because like, because of all that. Bad. I was like, I've never even had a credit card. How can I have bad credit? And then my mom was like, Oh yeah, I just. You have like four thousand dollars from college you owe back. I was like, "What the fuck, lady? You were gonna tell me about any of this at any yeah, point?" Yeah, that's pretty crazy. I respect the move. I <laughs> yeah. like that. That's fucking chestnut like that checkers. She, dude. I like that she puts the screws to you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's good to know that somebody out there is. She's like, yeah. "What? You, th- you thought you were going to the movies on me all college?" I'm like, "Fine, yeah. I'll, I'll ruin the next seven years of your life. I don't care. <laughs> you think I care, John? I don't care. <laughs> I hope wedding crashes was good. Because <laughs> it's gonna cost you fourteen thousand dollars now. Okay." <laughs> <laughs> did, did, did you enjoy fucking Couples Retreat, John Henry? <laughs> 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 that was an all right movie. It was like yeah. when I went to see Alone. Oh, it was one of the God. more depressing asks you'll ever see to yeah. a to a, a sixteen year old working in a movie theater. You at least got to buy two tickets <laughs> now. Well, let me get two for Couples Retreat. You don't say one. <laughs> Listen here, you little lady who shots a hot topic. <laughs> fucking run the card, <laughs> run, run the it. ticket. I'll get the fuck out of your face. Uh, That's with Vince Vaughn, right? Yes. It's no breakup, but it's all right. Yeah, no, it's, it's it. all right. For, uh, Favreau's in it. Uh, Bateman. Bateman. Phase on Love. Malin Ackerman. Love. Phase yeah. on Love, yeah. yeah. I love Phase on Love. It's a great movie. Um, all right, let's see here. Uh, oh, this is one we wanted to talk. Do you put... Uh, this was a big divisive one a few weeks or last week. Uh, do you put your pants on? Oh, oh I, 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 I weighed in on this one. Uh, okay. Do, do you put... I forget. Uh, then you're, you're Team Foley. 
I am too. You know, I think I'm with you. Underwear, socks, pants. He oh, probably wait. goes socks and then gets in the shower. No, <laughs> <laughs> this fucking sick. Puts a pot on his head. I, Who knows what this guy does? I put my tub socks on. <laughs> wait, so what do you do? I go, um, I go, actually, I usually go, okay, here is the thing. I usually go <laughs> socks first. Before underwear? Before underwear. Oh, this guy's fucking... <laughs> think, how do you get kookier than that? Because here's the deal. I get... I don't take the time. I don't have good towels. You know, like some towels dry I, and some towels don't. I just I just bought good towels. Okay. Like, so you, they came today. But good towels are usually shit towels. Like, the nice... I use t- Brooklyn like, and like the fantastic a, a, promo code garbage. A Brooklyn is a nice towel. You don't, like, I don't know. you don't like the thick, fancy ones that are soft. You like one with a little bit of a little bit. I of, like some I like grit. Of fucking sandpaper. That'll yeah. get it off you. And you can't get it off. <laughs> yeah, the water. That's the other thing's just this guy's wild. out of ten all the time. He's a cra- I, don't get, you know, I don't get the water off you like it's bad or something. <laughs> He's a crazy take an extra, person. Take an extra ten seconds. No, I don't have the time. get it off you. I feel like you have many trampolines in every room. Of your apartment. <laughs> he's like a lemur. Like he just he's like on the fridge and then on the door and then sleeping on the couch. He's, he's at the hospital. He's not at the hospital. He's everywhere. You should, be, you should be running a chocolate factory in England. Because <laughs> this guy's fucking screwy. <laughs> Holy shit. All right. Well, here's what happens. I don't fucking dry. I hate drying. I hate taking the time to dry. So when I get dressed, I'm usually still damp. Me too. I'm damp at, at worst. I'm damp, okay? I'm not wet, but I'm damp. Sure. Now, if you get dressed damp, if you, you put your underpants on damp, you you kind of it just keeps that dampness in. It's, it's I know what you're talking it's about. It's for a long it's time. It's swampy almost all but day. But the socks are the same for me. The socks this, are the hardest thing to put on if they're a little damp. But the feet are the easiest thing to dry. The feet dry fast. The feet are, the foot's are quick dry. There's a method to his madness. I'll but, give him that. So what I do is when I put my socks on, I sit on my bed naked, obviously. You're yeah. out of the shower. I'm out of the shower. Are you, you're I'm, not 100 percent dry. Or you are dry. I'm not 100 percent dry, but I sit in my bed and. Because when I'm sitting down, I guess fucking everything opens up. The sheets dry. The your asshole. The stuff. asshole. The yeah. whole undercarriage. The whole thing gets oh, dry. Your sheets are probably Lord. a mess. Dude. <laughs> Why it's fucking clean? I just got out of the shower. I just scrubbed it up. I don't it's know. the cleanest my asshole ever is. Is post shower. Sure. I would start there, maybe with the stain investigation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just <laughs> FYI. Always, it is always where I sit in that area right there. There you go. But it fucking That's juice. It absorbs everything because if you I if you it, get yeah. dressed damp, I it fucking ruins your day. It's I the get asshole's it. always the wettest. It's always the, gooch, the wettest. The but when you sit down. And sometimes I'll sometimes I'll be nice about He's it. Sometimes, got a good point. Sometimes I'll lay the towel down and I'll sit on the towel. But that the is, towel's already wet though. And it, it's it's, it's uh, not the work. best. Yeah, you yeah, usually yeah. go. It's best to go comforter. Comforter because the comforter is a shape shifter too. It'll <laughs> it'll get in there. It's like foam. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like Terminator Two metal. Yeah. Dude, that poor memory foam will never forget. Yeah. yeah, I just want to say you guys are you guys are both you guys are both skinny dudes. As a fat guy, what you're talking about, this is a life or death scenario. We, I have to make sure everything is arid dry <laughs> yeah. down there. I use a hair dryer. That's how I oh, do it. Yeah. I make sure everything's dry, and then I have Puts a, a little sun in it. <laughs> you like those? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the sun. Newsflash. Little trick of the trade. It's just the heat. <laughs> My pubes got tips. <laughs> My taint looks like an 80s skateboard movie. (laughs) (laughs) Playing for keeps over here, boys. It is, but that that move, you see that a lot with old guys at the gym. You don't see it a lot with the younger fellas. That's a nice move. It's, it's a great move. If you got the time, because it takes a little while, it's also a little dangerous. For me, for me, it's necessary. Yeah, yeah. And it's What's worth heat it. setting are you cooking on? Hi. Oh, yeah. I'm hot, too. Blast it out. Yeah. Not even warm. Hot's no, dangerous. Hot. You're, going no. like, you're going like five? You're I need up. it dry. People's <laughs> lives depend on this. If that starts getting sweaty and starts kicking up, I just it ruined it, ruin like Thanksgiving. It would, be, it would be uncomfortable, the heat. That seems like too much heat. I like the I run a little, a little hot down there to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you do that, and then you get the... Uh, the um, WD-40? <laughs> 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 it comes a layer of acrylic, <laughs> and then a terracotta. No, you get the spray. Um, uh, what's it called? What's the deodorant? The powder. Doctor Bronner's. Or, no. no, no, sorry. D- uh, d- fuck, Doctor Schultz. Talcum powder. Ta- not talcum. talcum powder, but gold bond. Gold, gold bond. Spray, they got spray yeah. gold bond now. Is that? I think that stuff's not good, right? That's all that. That's 
really bad, I think. Yeah, whatever. Finals Burns doctor said it was okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tell me over some martini. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was yeah. hand feeding me Molly at the time. <laughs> I've, I'm a big. I, I haven't done it, but there was a stage in my life where I was the big. I we used just the Johnson and Johnson baby powder, mm -hmm. but it was like you oh fucking yeah, open that bad boy up and just oh, squeeze her down. So good. It was. I had one time one summer. It doesn't make sense to me at all. It's like shoving you a cupcake never down used there. it. It's crazy. You've never done it? No. Keeps it fresh and dry. If there was a Dwayne Reed across the street. There would be a pancake down there by the time I was done. That's a little bit. It is. In fact, just talking about it is going to get me back on the train, get me hooked again. Get the spray, baby. Get the spray. It's fucking divine. It's fantastic. You can get like the menthol flavored, too. Flavored. Fucking scented, whatever you call it. Feel it. Get that cool rush. It's fucking. Nice. But let me tell you what I don't do is sit on my bed and let the fucking sheets dry my ass. Well, he's sleeping on which the couch. is what you do, you fucking psychopath. Yeah, that's true. And you put your socks on while your while your noodles hanging out. Oh yeah, yeah. Here's the here's the here's the here's the uh, immediate flaw with that. What if you got to go back into the bathroom? What if you have to go near where you where your wet feet step? Have you ever put fresh socks on and then stepped in water and then gone and put your shoes on? Night's ruined. I think it's a little <laughs> more wet for you. I, I no, I'm gonna say no. It looks like I did cannonballs in the shower. Right? Okay, yeah, he's yeah. probably a wacky. Yeah. But wacky even though it was insulting, Kevin is correct. It <laughs> yeah. is very wet when I get out of the shower. It's it's fucking it's wet. I've I, I there's been there's there's been a time or two. There's been a time or two where I I put a fucking wet shoe wet sock into a shoe, but it's rare. It's rare. When did the underwear go on? In this process. Right after the socks. Okay. So the, the underwear sit next to me while the socks go on. Okay. And then as I get up from bed, boom, on the pants on. Okay. All right. And then it's been... A, it's because I'm a long sock guy. That's so true. He's a long if sock you got, guy. If you go ankle socks, you can well, put them on whatever... Well, this is what we time, forgot. This, we yeah, talked yeah, yeah. about this. He goes, I'll give it to you. You can go ankle socks. You can go pants and then ankle socks. And then I said, well, I... For the past, I don't know... 20 years of my life, I've only worn ankle socks. <laughs> yeah. He's like, that is insane. That's that like fifth graders do that. No, I was going to say uh, that I didn't know that you were a full sock guy. I, I find it full sock exclusively guy. full sock. I find it incredibly triggering and disturbing, and it's freaking me out. Why? Who's a, who's still a long sock guy since the fucking ankle sock? Hit the the ankle sock is fuck. But his is more of a fashion choice as well. Yes. He does the cuff. That's 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 does that's the cuff a, on what? A, on his jeans. Ooh, so cool. he's got the cool sad boy shoes. Check them out next time they're restocked. <laughs> uh, he's got the, the cool shoes. He does like the cool canvas shoe. Like, right? yeah. You wear like shoes like that all I the wear, time. Yeah, I, I got a lot of sneakers. Yeah. And then he does a pair of high socks and then cuffs the pants. Ooh, so you see sweet. the... So yeah, he's cool. <laughs> he's a cool guy. He's crazy. Check me, he's out, check me out in Murray Hill this week. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be looking fresh. All right, I'll give you that. That's pretty good. Yeah. But I still think it's weird that you wear high socks. I, 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 there are times where sometimes I wish I had an ankle. Like I don't even have any ankle socks. Come where, over to my house. I got plenty. <laughs> <laughs> I could just buy. I could, I could get some right now, and they'd be at my apartment by the time by I got home. home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I just, I don't know. I'm lazy. Big ankle sock guy. Can't. Go. I got a couple pairs of high yeah, socks. because I'm, I'm a saying. gentleman. I think it is part fashion that you like the high socks. For sure. There's but no. There's it's no. also half crazy too. You got that from when you were a kid. I bet you were a pull them all the way up kid, weren't you? No, I was. There was a, a phase in my life. That's why I said to you, it's for fifth graders and people in Ocala. The is the ankle sock. I used to fucking. I, What's wrong with you? I don't know. He's, <laughs> he's proper. Sometimes I just stare at him <laughs> as he saw. I'm like, this guy's nuts. O Ocala's I'm just, talking to a crazy person right now. Ocala's is where we got abortions in college. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> All right, so hold on. I have a question that you might be able to weigh in on. Do you remember before? I think we've we might have talked about this before. Ankle socks really dropped. Mid not mid to late nineties is when they really fucking yeah yeah yeah, yeah. they right. really dropped and they were like readily available everywhere. fifth grade time. Did you ever have to make your own ankle sock? Oh yeah. How did you do? Hell it? yeah. Did you like a lot of people would right you pull it up and then roll it down? Hell yeah. Like that. That was a good one. That was good. Yeah, it ends up your foot ends up looking like an uncircumcised dick. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. What I would do was sometimes I, I would steal my mom's and cut the little, take the little, rip the little ball off. You what? Yeah, like a little. How many, wait, how many pairs of little ball socks? Do you yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> is your mom a candy striper? <laughs> that's crazy. Does she exclusively your wear mom, those? Your mom a backup singer for Frankie Valley? <laughs> 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 oh 
High school Japanese girl. <laughs> That's crazy. Had a whole drawer of them. Also, what grown woman wears those? What she, mother wears those? I didn't see if she was seven. They were, they were sporty. They were when she wore her sneakers and her shorts. She had little little ankle socks, and they had like a little puff ball on the back. I, we yeah. know what you're yeah, talking yeah, about. Who yeah, could forget sporty spice yeah. in these socks? <laughs> they were sporty. Yeah, I'd rip them off and, and, and use them as ankle socks. Yeah. Uh, I'm the fucking weirdo here. <laughs> no, your mom is. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy. <laughs> I would sometimes not pull it all the way up and then tuck under. Wait, hang on. Dude. So, like, pull, like, show your foot. Okay. So, I would pull the sock down. Like, I wouldn't put it all the way up. Pull the front of the sock oh, out. Oh, yes. and, and then you fold, fold that, under. You fold that under. Yeah. I can see That's that. That's what too. you had to do before <laughs> fucking, you know. Haynes got their shit together and started issuing out ankle socks. That was a crazy time. <laughs> I was bonkers. Walking the, around in a pair the, of cargo shorts with knee eyes on. What the fuck's happening over America here? America was in disarray. All men walk around uncomfortable like we're women in it, shoes or something. It was nuts. This doesn't even fit. My shoes, my sock, uh, foot's squeezed in here. It, it was bonkers what you had to do before ankle socks. All right, let's run through a couple of questions. This one's been fucking bonkers. Uh, this one's from Ig- Insignificant Others. Uh, have you ever taken your own koozie to a bar? Are you a koozie guy? No, I'm not a koozie guy. Yeah. Um, I mean, if you do, become don't a- usually have the beer in my hand long enough for it to get warm. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't think a handle of Jack Daniels. They don't make koozies for those. Did you ever put a T-shirt on your handle of Jack Daniels? <laughs> um, I've seen I went people to- do it. People come to the shows that our show, our live shows, and they bring their own koozie. I, I got trashy. a friend. I got a friend who does. Yeah, it. I never nuts. got it. I, I never, did. Uh, I, I, w- I went to college in Florida for you know a bit during my Eastern Seaboard extravaganza, um, but and I was in a frat there. It was a good weekend. So I I was a frat boy mm-hmm. for I, I was never a frat guy, but I was in a frat. Sure. And uh, I'm sure that my, at that stage there was a little koozie action going on. Yeah, but, but nah, yeah. nah, I'm over that. That's forgivable. Yeah, of course. <laughs> college was a wacky, was time, a wacky for time for everybody. <laughs> What's the most amount of alcohol you've ever snuck into an event or venue? None. I, I I'm sure I've done a water bottle of vodka, but that, oh, I, I, yeah. that's the most. I've never been never been a sneaker in her. Really? Mm. I can see you in a duster with fucking nine handles <laughs> on <laughs> Like two kids in a trench coat trying no. to see rated our movie. I, I had a credit card on me that I thought my mom was paying. <laughs> <laughs> I had no problem fucking buying shit. Yeah, what are you talking about? This kid was paying retail. <laughs> <laughs> nah, don't worry about this. Don't worry about the fellas I got us tonight. <laughs> Bolly does. Oh. <laughs> nah, just tell her it's an emergency. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I had to go to the Pats game. <laughs> She's getting alerts on her computer. Oh, John, you foolish boy, <laughs> falling into my trap again. Do you are you are you a guy that would uh, wear sneakers out of the store? You go in and get a new pair of sneakers. You wearing them out? You're As a out real young kid, fuck yeah, yeah. yeah I got a wearing pair them of- out as a kid. You felt cool. Yeah, oh, God. Dude, fucking pre wreck. I, I got the Emmett Smiths. I was I had those. Uh mm-hmm. the pennies. I wore those out of the store for sure. Yeah. The Wayne Gretzky's, the little known sneaker. I don't that I don't remember it those. It looks like a goddamn combat boot. It's yeah, insane. It can't be cool. I think I think they were uh, It's like an ice skate without the blade on it. They were like <laughs> LA gears. Ooh, and it's, it, I think ooh. I remember that. Yeah, no, it's exactly what it was. It was yeah. ice skate without the blade on it. It is a fucking. That was one I had to wear that. So it comes with hockey laces. Was LA Gear and LA Light? Holy the same company? shit! These do not look cool. No, they they look stunk. like snowboard boots. They're combat boots, dude. It looks what like what in the fuck <laughs> is that? Fucking dude. Polish Marines over here. I was gonna say it looks like some shit that Hitler Youth would wear. That's got Canadian <laughs> written all over it. That thing is tough. Yeah, just just wearing those with a pair of like shorts and t-shirts to school. <laughs> it looks like a fucking lunatic. Yeah. You wonder why I was wearing high socks high all socks the time. I get blisters on my. <laughs> Shins from my Gretzky's. <laughs> I get blisters on my shins from my Gretzky's. But what about as an adult? Do you think that's lame if you wear, the, wear them out of the store? Fuck yeah. It is. Yeah. yeah. You shouldn't be in a position where you need to wear the shoes out oh, of the store. I did that maybe two weeks ago. What are you talking? So what, you, you went in there like... It was barefoot. Like, like, yeah, like on your rims of your fucking <laughs> shoes? I went in there in flip-flops with socks on. I drove there. It was at a Dick's, it was at a Dick's Sporting Good in Plymouth Meeting. I went. To, I was going to buy new sneakers. I was going to get new sneakers, and I was going somewhere afterwards. So why would I wear my own sneakers? I wore my flip flops and my how socks. How many? How many sneakers do you have? One. Two pair. Yeah. You have two pairs of sneakers. I have two pairs. How many kids do you have? Kids. That's, that's yeah. Like that's like a dad move. Yeah. Like, you, like, yeah. like I got the dad. ones I cut the grass yeah. in, and then the ones I go to work in. What do I need more than one pair of sneakers for? I don't yeah. know. What if you wearing a different color pants one day? Uh, <laughs> no, yeah, no kids. 
I do. You had yeah, no kids. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you took out of that. <laughs> you answered as you know. We've met before, right? <laughs> I'm, glad you think I, I, I'm glad you think I can support a family now. I'm actually flattered. No, I got these joints. These ones that I'm wearing right now. No socks. We got there. They're Adidas. Yeah. And those are hurting. Though. These are these are ready yeah, to go. Did you say you bought those a few weeks ago? <laughs> no, <laughs> I mean, these. Did you go visit the are... Amazon in between? <laughs> <laughs> no, I bought another. Did you go off roading again? <laughs> I bought I bought another pair that I don't like that are in the trunk of my car. <laughs> those things so look so like what's Feidelberg's mattress? Feidelberg <laughs> <laughs> sitting on them things recently. <laughs> But his underwear sitting next to it. I've gotten big into shoes now that we now that I was always that was a big thing for us being you know so fucking poor struggling comics was our shoes. We would literally have to we would trade shoes sometimes. Yes, what? We would, if like we didn't if like I got a pair of shoes that didn't fit or something, we would like get like wear them and be like ah, I don't like them. We'd have to, we'd give each other old shoes. No Especially shit. Especially if we had something coming up. If, yeah, oh, he's got this coming up. Give him the jacket. Yeah, and that. Yeah, 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 yeah. We were sharing clothes and <laughs> yeah. shoes. It was bad. <laughs> Uh, or like we had holes in our shoes all the time. So now, like over the past three weeks, I've bought in like maybe twelve pairs of shoes. Yeah, that's... and I have like the ones that I like, and I just buy like four pairs. I was say, I think the... oh, these actually, are no, I thought these I... are really these are all fucked up. But I have like four of the same ones, just still in the box from. And I, 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 it's like my claim to fame. It's here's, my... My, here's my problem with that. Why I can't? Why I don't have a bunch of pair, which I'd like to have a bunch of pair. Is I go spend into... all your money on useless stuff. Fair enough. Um, <laughs> I go into I go into a store like Dick's. They have these, and then you go back the next time, and they don't have them anymore. It's some other. But pair. if you like them, buy that pair online. Do they sell them like that? Yes. I thought it was like, I thought it was they were like bagels. Like they made a, they made them some for a little while, then they stopped making them. Sneakers? Yeah. Like <laughs> you went to <laughs> bagels. Food. You're, what you, what you're a saying pair of bacon, egg, and cheese. Wrong. Like you it's know, just like, wild like, to be like I thought they were like bagels. <laughs> like like you're right. They are. Shoes have limited runs. Yes, that's what sure, I mean. Sure, but you can still get them. <laughs> Just because you're like, say well, you yeah, go but... to your dicks and your dicks is out of that shoe, mm -hmm. dicks online somewhere still has those shoes. Oh, well, that's... Or Pacific Sunwear or Foot Locker or somewhere. Now, now, these don't have a name. How do I figure out what, what the name of the sneakers is? is the Air a... Diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> Air Insolence. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. I like these sneakers. I'm going to go home and figure that out, and I'm going to order five pair. So I'm going to wear the same pair of sneakers. A lot of like, I think you're thinking more of like like the shoes that end up on like StockX and shit like that. Like those are like the He doesn't limit. know what that is. I don't like, know what that is. He doesn't know what that like, is. Like it's like is that a, a Bitcoin? Is, that, <laughs> is it on TikTok? If it is. <laughs> They're like like the exclusive Jordans no. and stuff like that come no. out like, on a drop. He just no. thinks like a pair of Adidas or like I yeah. Yeah, I mean, like a few years. I think you got a little while. Yeah. Oh, if really? you can buy a shoe at like a finish line, you you got you a little while, to, buy, a while. to keep oh, buying see, that. I thought that it was brand, like every but, couple of weeks they they get they they like, no. they get rid of them. It's not <laughs> a salad bar. <laughs> like how they put out like like now like Dunkin' Donuts has like you know pumpkin this pumpkin that. Uh, why? But in that, March, why it's why, go it, why are you going to fresh baked goods <laughs> for clothing? Pro why is that your equation? I don't know. Fresh sneaks, fresh bagels. <laughs> Wait, Foley. Sounds right. What's the last thing you purchased online? What's the last thing I purchased? Yeah, you're not an online guy, are Me you? Me neither. I like that. Oh, I purchased a... Uh, I got a... A um, hooker. <laughs> <laughs> Done that. <laughs> <laughs> we used to get hookers just watch Sopranos with them. What? what? Yeah, we'd come with... We'd, we'd, this is like probably when... Probably around the time I was fucking scamming credit cards in Southie. Uh, we just have hookers come over and we just... Me and my roommates... We just, just watch we the just, Sopranos? Yeah, they just come in and we'd be like, yeah, we're just going to watch the Sopranos. And they'd be like... Okay. And you wouldn't have sex with them at all? No, we wouldn't fucking, wouldn't even touch them. We're just giving them a little break. It, we, we'd be really fucked up. We'd be like really drunk. We just thought it was funny. And it was our little inside joke. We thought it was hilarious, though. I don't hate it. It's a pretty good bit. <laughs> yeah. Like, they'd end up, like, at first, like, the first five minutes, they're like, what the fuck is happening? And then they realized that we're just watching an episode of Sopranos. They got into it. They're like, hell yeah, this is sick. Yeah. I kicked, thought I was going to miss it tonight. <laughs> yeah, I kicked their feet up. And it was like, this is great. <laughs> that story came from me asking Foley what he bought online. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He blurted it out like a six-year-old. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes me and friends can hookers watch the panels. <laughs> what? What did you say? What did you say? What did this guy say? <laughs> what? <laughs> to answer your question, <laughs> to mature this up a little bit, the last thing I bought online was a die-cast um, X-Wing fighter. For one hundred and thirty-six dollars. That's a Star Wars thing. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for maturing it up. <laughs> <laughs> you bought a Star Wars toy. <laughs> Diecast metal. It's you'll a you'll probably choke on it. Why? <laughs> <Bye. laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Who? Why? You? 
You answered his joke and then did fucking <laughs> fact check mine. Because, well, okay, there's uh, multiple reasons. One, you're immature <laughs> and you might choke on it. Two, you're fat and might think it's candy and eat it. Yeah, that all checks out. That's why I, I mean, I'm having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, I got, I got one more and then we can wrap it up. Um, this has been fucking <laughs> cuckoo bananas. <laughs> um, this one I've never thought about. It's from Tom P., which is a fantastic indicator on trash or not, I feel. How do you pronounce Ralph Lauren? Ralph Lauren. Ralph no, Lauren. Ra- no, Ralph Lauren. Sorry. You sorry, say sorry. Ralph, Ralph Lauren. Lauren. Yes. What do you say? I don't know. What'd you say? <laughs> it's, I said Lauren, but he I said, said it wrong. He said it trashy, right? No, he says he says he says Ralph Lauren, which but would, he but yeah, but he I said, said that. Lauren, I said Lauren, but Ralph yes, Lauren is but how he it's, did say it's I say it Lauren, but I think it is Ralph Lauren. I believe the correct pronunciation is Lauren. I Ooh, say well, Lauren. That throws a wrench in the whole mix. Yeah, I feel like I thought it was Lauren, and the classy way would be Lauren. A little European on it, you know what I mean? I, a little pizzazz. But he, I think it. he's American, isn't he? I would say Ralph Lauren. It's Ralph Lauren. Yeah, that's what I would say. Yeah. Ralph Lauren. It's Ralph Lauren. T Bone, what do you got over there? Hang on, hang on. Let me see if I can make this work. All right. Uh... Ralph Lauren. But that, Lauren. that's Google. That 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 is Google. That's saying not that. yeah, but that's not how he pronounces it. And that's it. fucking AI too. That's Siri. I don't trust her. As far as I can throw Here, her. Pronounce Ralph. There is another designer named Greg Lauren who I think he's Ralph possibly La- La- Lauren. Lauren. Ralph Lauren. Why that doesn't make sense. How do you pronounce Ralph Lauren? Here, hold on. Ralph Lauren. Ralph Lauren. I think it is. I think it is Ralph. That guy sounds like he had money too. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear his bottom jaw sticking out. <laughs> I, I, I. So which is like, it's almost like fake, not trashy. Because I definitely said Lauren my whole life, and I think I fairly recently learned it's Lauren. Okay. When he said, how do you pronounce it? You said Ralph Lauren. I said Lauren, but it's not. I think because I was just saying it correctly. Right. I think it's, it's, I said Loren. Okay. It's like the girl's name. Okay. So it's Ralph, it's Ralph Lauren. Yeah. I got an official statement from Ralph Lauren saying that it's pronounced Lauren like a girl's wow. name. Wow. Okay. Ah. So you're a jerk off if you say Loren. Yes. Ralph, you're trying to be fancy. Ralph Lauren. Right. Yes. Yeah. Ralph Lauren. Yeah. It's yeah. a little like a lace curtain. Say yeah. Loren. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah <laughs> or like yeah, yeah. cannoli or something. <laughs> 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 okay. Buddy. You're the fucking man. This has been a fucking bananas one. It Thank you for. I'm glad we got you back. Yeah. It's been so long. I, I'm glad I got to come in. I've never been in here before. Yes. You have proved, we did it Zoom. You have proved little effort of why you are garbage royal. <laughs> yeah. Royal top notch, and maybe belongs in a mental institution. <laughs> I'm not sure. I have to have. I have to talk to his doctor. Defin- definitely, <laughs> definitely a 30 day rehab facility. <laughs> this much we know. Uh, what do you got coming up? Anything you want the folks out there to know? We, we are right doing uh, KFC Radio. Oh, yeah. The podcast. Uh, we're doing the uh, with you guys. New York Comedy with you Festival. Guys, New York Woo! Comedy Festival. We are at the Gramercy Theater on November 12th. Uh, Friday, I think it's like the earlier show. I think it's like 7 p.m. I don't know exactly. but 6.30. I was talking to KFC six, last 6:30 night. 6.30 it, it is. Yeah. Uh, Friday, November 12th. That is our show in the city. And uh, come on out. It's going to be. To be honest, I think we're looking on hiring a circus act to open for us. Oh, so baby. we're going. Jesus. We got. We got to clear things. We're gonna. We're gonna hire. Uh, they're gonna be naked for it. Apparently, no nudity allowed at the Gramercy uh, Theater. Uh, so we're that's it. To, I'm out. We're trying to figure out what we can have naked circus people do on stage, but it's gonna be a hell of a show. It's gonna be a hell of a night. That's Absolutely, great. that's fantastic, buddy. Gramercy Theater. Look at that. Looking forward to Fucking it. Don't miss that one, gang. Kippy, what do you got for him? Uh, same thing. Phil, uh, Philly and New York. Philly's almost sold out. There's, you know. Maybe what we're talking about, 30 tickets left in Philly. Get those fucking tickets. Uh, New York, also part of the New York Comedy Festival. We're going to be at Gotham on uh, November 9th at 7 p.m. Get those fucking tickets. That will sell out. And then we're going dark for a little bit. No, we're not. I just lied. We picked up three more dates. (laughs) We're going to be in upstate New York in December. But that's it. Gang, we love you. We'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.